All right, all right, all right. What have we got here? Number 82 on the list. Top 100 players in 2022. Kenny Moore the second, Cornerback for the Colts. Uh, I'm assuming Kenny Moore Sr. was in the league. If he wasn't, then uh, his son's really outdone the, the big fella. But all of that and more will be revealed in this video. Let's see what's up. Who are some of the guys in your position that you would put on the top 100? Um, other than myself. Um, what? Classic Jalen Ramsey. On top 100, uh, hopefully from my first year. I mean, I feel like Kenny Moore is probably like the toughest like matchup in terms of like slot corners that I went against. Kenny Moore, I'll tell you what, I think I, he, he, he went Pro Bowl this year. Tonight, they're going to announce Pro Bowl, and I know we're all going to celebrate this year. Lightning in the bottom. Yeah! Let's go! I'm glad that he... I've never seen a Pro Bowl announcement within a team environment like that before. That was sick. But what we really need to do is get some stats. Right, August 23rd, 1995, 26 years of age, 5 foot 9, certainly undersized. Uh, 190 pounds, went to Valdosta State, went undrafted, picked up by the Patriots in 2017, went to the Colts the same year, and he's been there ever since. Undrafted. And he finds himself not only in his first Pro Bowl, but in the top 100 players in the entire league. I tell you what, that is a success story. 447 for the 40 yard dash, 40 and a half inches on the vertical. So that pretty much cancels out whatever height disadvantages he may have. 10 foot 7 on the broad jump, 15 reps on the bench. New England Patriots signed him to a three year, $1.66 million contract that included a signing bonus of $2,000 as an undrafted free agent. Throughout training camp, he competed for a roster spot. Um, but on September 2nd, they waived him. And on September 3rd, the Colts claimed him. Head coach Chuck Pagano, 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 Pajamas, named Moore the fifth cornerback on the depth chart to begin the regular season. He made his professional debut in the season opener and made one solo tackle. And the list goes on and on and on. He did sign a... Four-year, $36 million extension with the Colts in 2019. So just, just a short two years after his debut, um, got paid. And the man was undrafted. Let's go. Got a little bit of respect this year, you know, being able to go to the Pro Bowl, because I think he's an elite player in this league. We play on week two. This guy can play ball. Kenny Moore II has been recognized by his peers with his first ever spot on the top 100. Even the GOAT has taken notice of this call. What's up, how you doing? Doing great, you know Good to see you. Yes, sir, appreciate you. Doing great. I got you, I appreciate that. It's about time for Kenny. I don't think he get enough credit for what he do. <laughs> Tell you what, those are the second dose of, you know, that's the second dose of uh, goosebumps I've had this entire series. And it's because none other. Then the GOAT was on screen, giving his praise, being in the league for 22 years. He knows what's up. He knows what he sees. He knows talent. He knows Kenny Moore the second. On any receiver. Tipped up into the air, and is tipped to himself, and it's Kenny Moore. In practice, he made them crazy catches all the time. And then for him to, you know, do that little volleyball thing. He was playing volleyball, and he got it. Hey, I ain't never seen nobody catch in their cell. Two, three. <laughs> I remember Neither have I. he made a play against Tennessee. I called him right after the game, like, dude, we just talked about this. Like, you know, you intercepting this pass off of this look, and they were in cover two. Kenny was carrying from the slot, so he was running vertical with the number two receiver. The number one receiver inside released and ran a dig. Kenny, he was literally playing the slot receiver man to man. He didn't even look back at the quarterback. As soon as the dude broke off for the end route, he turned around and caught an interception. Okay, that is a play and a half. That's such a hard play because you're taking a risk of... You are taking a huge risk. Open. You know, that's 
one of those things that the coach is like, no, 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 yes, 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 yes. You gotta stay stronger than you have now. Whatever they're doing on defense there is working because it's not just him, it's Darius Leonard. Like they got a culture over there that's that's like they care about ball and they want to win. So I think they're doing things. All right, I was actually confused between Leonard uh, Williams and Darius Leonard. So that clears that up. It's the right way, and he fits the mold of that. You know, he's a little bit smaller in stature, but he makes up for it in so many other ways. Derrick Henry, and he is flipped forward by Kenny Moore. That's the little big man. His competitive spirit is there. <laughs> oh, shit. He has a lot of heart. Oh, get in there, son. Oh, he takes a knee to the head for his troubles. But flips the king on his yeah, head. He's the smallest thing on the Oh fuck! He loves doing that. Feel, That's a signature uh, move. He's one of the guys that makes so many impacts. Tell you what, being five foot nine, I guess you can sort of use your leverage to your advantage. Blaze. One of the best nickel blitzers. Yep, do it again. I go back to the clip back in 2019 uh, when he was playing against Kansas City, and he just dipped and ripped up under the arm of the offensive tackle. The offensive tackle just fell down. If you watch him, you know the way he gets out of his break, the way. He what happened? Uh, when he was playing against Kansas City and he just dipped and ripped up under the arm of the offensive tackle and the offensive tackle just fell down. Oh, yeah. If you watch him, you know, the way he gets out of his break, the way he tackles, I think he had over 100 tackles this year. Playmaker around the ball, you know, calls and fumbles, catching interceptions, being able to get to the quarterback as well when he blitzes. Definitely, I think, cemented himself as, if not the best slot corner, you know, definitely top two. Way to play, dude. Way Appreciate to go. You. Great job. So I suppose a slot corner would be a cornerback that's further in towards the scrimmage, the line of the, um, the uh, yeah, the scrimmage. And I'll tell you what, guys, the takeaway that I get from this is old mate Tom Brady giving him the, his praise because Brady's the one trying to find targets and Kenny Moore's the one trying to shut them down. So Thank you. Keep it going. Yes, you sir. got a great career going. I got you. you know what to do. I already seen it for the last four years. Appreciate it. Kenny Moore, lightning in a bottle, as they call him. A special football player. I really like playing against Kenny Moore. Yeah. Right, man. Hey, love watching play, yes, One of the best I've seen. Yes, really. I'm, I'm serious. Love, bro. I love it. Love your game. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, I love to see you. Yes, sir. Keep watching you. Yes, sir. Love. Tell you what, I, I'm not sure. I, I feel like they are full of praise for their opposition after the game. And, you know, I guess we see that in the game of rugby too. Any any sports, you know, especially for people who do really appreciate the opposition's game. But sometimes I just think it's just too much. Sometimes I'm just like, come on, mate. You've just had a loss. Actually, know what? Come to think of it, it's probably the team, probably the, the guy who's actually on the winning team that wants to give as much praise as he can to the guy on the losing team. That would make more sense. Either way, guys. That brings us to the end of another video. In the next one, we're looking at Justin Simmons, uh, Mr. NFL of last year's series, that's for sure. See you soon. Peace.